Hello students. In this video, I want to introduce you to the Sage Math Cloud. We'll be doing a lot of symbolic and numerical mathematics using the Sage Math Cloud, which is uh, built on Python and is, uh, has a bunch of different packages in it. If you um, read this uh, text here, it tells you. Um, we'll be using um, the uh, Jupyter Notebooks and the Sage Math Worksheets um, extensively in most of my uh, um, classes and uh, you can watch a short little video and it'll give you a brief introduction to it. Um, if you don't already have account, an account in Sage Math Cloud um, you'll have to start one by putting in your first last name, your email address and choosing a password. Um, you can also sign in using uh, Google or Facebook, GitHub uh, or um, Twitter. I already have an account so I'm just gonna sign in and uh, once you sign in <coughs> Um, I have a bunch of projects. Um, one of the first things you're going to have to do is create a project. So I'll just do that. I'll create a project. And uh, let's uh, give this a name. I'll call this Math755 or something like that. And uh, this will be uh, initial and boundary value problems. Something like that. All right. So I'll create the project. Now, once the project's created, we're going to want to populate it with different uh, worksheets. And we have some options available to us. We can um, create a new worksheet by clicking on the new or clicking on create or upload. So um, since this is available to me, I'll just click on this. Now, we have some choices here. We can do Sage Worksheet. We could also use Sage Math as a LaTeX uh, document. Uh, um, IDE and uh, we'll have Jupyter Notebooks <clears throat> which will allow us to program in Python. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I downloaded some Sage worksheets. Let me go here and um, OD systems. Yeah, so you can see the Sage worksheets have a dot Sage WS extension. So I will um, simply go back to here. I'm going to split my screen here. And I'm going to do this. OK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all of the Sage worksheet files. And I'm just going to toss them into here. And just with a quick drag and drop. Now, um, those are going to already be loaded. So where did they go? Well, just click on Files here. So browse, for Browse Files, click on that. And there they all are for us to access them. Now, uh, before I go into accessing them, let me just do one simple thing. Let me click on a new worksheet. Um, let's <clears throat> actually, having the date in front of the worksheet is probably not a bad idea. And I'll do something like math 755, and then I'll do, uh, we'll call it Sage Intro. And I'll make that a Sage Worksheet, just so you can see what it looks like when it's just blank. So here's a Sage Worksheet. This is what it looks like blank. Here's all your menu options. And then I'll go here to File, and I will open up. Um, I'll try, let's do plot examples, so you can see that. And here's some simple plotting with Sage. So um, what you see here are um, some text I can put in there, and that text is actually, yeah, yeah, this is actually pretty cool. Um, I can, I, I can uh, use HTML, and I can put in a um, title. And then I can close that, and if I execute that cell, it'll be there. Um, I can also put in, notice I could put in some LaTeX uh, code here, and it'll give me these nice-looking inequalities. I'll just close that. Each of these things I'm opening and closing are cells, and so I can even, even the ones that are displayed, I can open and close them, but each of these are a cell. Now, if I want to execute something in Sage, I can go here, and I have two options. I can click on Run and it'll 
execute this um, cell, or I can use Shift Enter, and it'll execute the cell. And here's a plot of x cubed, where x is going from minus two to two. Um, I let it know. Okay, then I put some other features on there. So, for example, let me go back over here to our blank sheet. If I wanted to do something as simple as plot x cubed, and I wanted it to be from x is minus two to two, this is the minimum amount of information Sage needs to execute the plot command. Now, you might say, well, what if I want to um, plot uh, the sine of t? And notice I did t deliberately, and you want t to go from minus pi to pi. Um, Sage will not recognize that t by default and say, hey, look, t is not defined. So if I, if I use x as my default variable, no problems. But if I use t as my variable, I have to declare it. Um, and that works for any number of variables. So you might have a whole list of variables you want to put in there, like t, y, uh, u, v, and z, let's say. Now it will recognize t, but um, I'll click on this thick blue line that'll give me yet another cell. And um, I can also, let's say I, um, I want to plot um, the uh, let's say the cosine of z where z is going from 0 to 2 times pi and there is the cosine of z um, I may want to overlay um, some plots so maybe with z with this cosine of z I want to overlay a plot so I'll do plus plot and then let's say I want to plot the uh, sine of u where u is going from 0 to 2 times pi and uh, I'll get something like this. Now it's hard to distinguish between the two, so I may want to change the color. And I'll tell it I want the color to be red for the sign. And so now my sign plot is red and my cosine is blue. Um, all right, I'm going to pause here. That's how you can get things started. So you can. I have more information on plotting in this um, uh, Sage worksheet here. You can see more options that are available to you. It's pretty fancy. And don't forget to use Shift Enter to execute the Sage cells. And, um, and here's how you can start your new um, Sage uh, worksheets uh, from scratch. OK, I'll stop there and uh, let you um, experiment and get started. Good luck.